I think this might be her first time decorating a cookie. Here's the third floor terrace. I love how the view just gets better and better the higher up you go. That's my girl. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever that means. So I'm super excited to show you guys the house that we're living in right now. It's super unique and we are really enjoying it. I've been trying to film this house tour for a while, but our house has been so messy. It's just moving and kids and being humans. I think being humans makes our house messy. Well, I actually had a minute to pick up today, so the house is looking pretty good because the kids aren't home. So I was gonna wait for the kids so we could film the house tour together and then I realized that if the kids come home, the house will automatically be messy again. So I'm gonna film the house tour, then we'll hang out with the kids. <laughs> All right, so when you come in, the kitchen is immediately on your left. We love that there's an island. There's a pantry back there behind the fridge. Dinner's in the crock pot and the rice cooker, which makes me very happy. And I love that from the sink, I've got a great view. I was also thrilled to find a dishwasher because not every place has a dishwasher and I love dishwashers. Here's the eating area and we were happy to find that the table was big enough for all of us. There's even extra seating with the bar stools and the kids have loved using that. Underneath the stairs, there's a half bathroom. It's not huge, but it's super convenient to have it on the main floor. Here's the family room. It's got huge ceilings and lots of light. Okay guys, this is an elevator because this house is four stories tall. Our kids were so excited about the elevator. Unfortunately, it is broken or that's a huge blessing because we've gotten lots of exercise running up and down these stairs and now I don't have to worry about my kids breaking it. We just don't open it or use it at all. This room is the playroom or the den, whichever one you wanna call it. And I love this room. It's probably my favorite room in the house. I love it because it's on the main floor, just right off the main living area, but it's a special place for all the toys and because the kids are off to the side, it's not so loud. They're not in our main space, so I love it. Here we go out to the patio which is so beautiful. Oh my goodness, we love this little patio area. There's a grill. I love this sign because the beach is literally this way. We're not right on the beach, we're about 10 or 15 minutes walk away from the beach, but we do have neighborhood access and so we love it. All right, let's go upstairs to the second floor. This is where the elevator would come out and where you can look down to the main living area. On your left, there's the laundry room. Yay for a laundry room. I love laundry rooms with sinks and washers and dryers. When we first arrived here, the kids were obsessed with pickleball, so they actually used yarn or string and made a net out here, and they played pickleball up here on this terrace. Then somebody had the idea, I'm not gonna name which kid, to have someone go up there and play pickleball over, anyway. They've been having fun. We're still on the second floor. This is the kids' room. We actually have all four big kids in one room right now. There's the queen size bed and then the bunk beds. We decided to put all four big kids in the same room because they're gonna be on the same schedule this year. They're gonna be going to school. They're gonna be going to bed around the same time, waking up around the same time. So it just made sense to have them all in this room together. We've got plenty of storage space with the closets and the dressers. There's four bedrooms in this house and every bedroom has its own bathroom, which is really convenient because there's so many floors. You definitely don't wanna be running up and down the stairs all the time. So the girls use this bathroom and the boys use the office bathroom. Here's the girls' bathroom. Love the counter space. And the kids are actually big fans of the bidet. Personally, I've never quite gotten used to it. I'm not a huge fan, but the kids like it. Right next to the kids' room is the office slash storage room. Everything from our storage unit is in this room. And Jeremy is usually in this room. This is my office setup. We were excited because there was this little ledge and a chair that he could use as a desk setup. Jeremy, you've had some pretty unique office spaces. In closets, our existence. typically. This is an upgrade from the closet. The weird nook next to the bathroom. And the air conditioning does work now. It's true. Well, here's the bathroom. It's a bathroom. I didn't clean up the bathroom. That's what it looks like sometimes. <laughs> so the stuff that's in storage in this room is stuff that we're gonna need for the next place that we're moving into. It's mostly bedding. These big ones are actually full of pillows. So they're all really lightweight. 
they just take up space. So the first floor has all the main living areas. The second floor has the laundry room, the kids bedroom and the office up to the third floor which has our bedroom and Janae's bedroom. So here's where the elevator is and right next to it is the door to the third floor terrace. Here's the third floor terrace. I love how the view just gets better and better the higher up you go. Well, this is Jeremy and I's room. It's definitely the least cleaned up. There's lots of piles. I'm still sorting stuff out and figuring out where to put some stuff. But I love that this room, there's nightstands on both sides of the bed, which is super great for Jeremy and I. And the bathroom's nice too. So Janae is on the same level as we are, which is very nice, so we're right there by her. I was going to tell you that we couldn't go in Janae's room because she's napping, but I can hear her in there talking to herself. You wanna bring your blankie? Great plan. If you wanna come out, you gotta leave your bink in your bed. So Janae, is this your room? Yeah. What do you like about your room? Blankie. You like your blankie? So we put Janae's crib over here. The bathroom is right there. And here's where we sit and read to her. And upstairs to the fourth floor. The fourth floor is just a giant terrace. It's so beautiful, it's got a great view, nice breeze. It's just a lot of flights up to get here. All right, well that was our relatively clean house. I'm gonna go grab the kids and our house will quickly restore to its natural habitat. To be honest, I don't feel like the house has to be perfect all the time. We're people and we live in our house. Of course it's gonna get messy and you guys see our house messy all the time. But I do like every once in a while cleaning up and feeling like it's clean all at once, and it does make me smile to have it clean. I think every mom smiles at a clean house. You know, this isn't your natural habitat, and the kids are back, and Isaac's like, what happened? What, who came? And I'm like, I, I picked up the house. You look beautiful, Miss Ballerina. Isaac's enjoying some fruit. Do you save the cherries for the end, or do you just eat them? I do see everything at the same time. Sometimes I do, but I'm just so hungry right now. He's reading it again. Are you driving the car? Yeah. Hey, are you speaking Spanish? Si. I got it. I got it. Uno minuto. She's still driving. Where are you going? San Diego? That's my teacher over there. That's your teacher over there? <laughs> so Kendra picked up this pumpkin when she was out shopping one day. They don't really have a lot of pumpkins here during Halloween. Unfortunately, it has become moldy and nasty. I don't even know if we're gonna cut it open just because of how grody it is. I'll show you what to do. You put it like that. Then we cover it. Then we have to water it. Now, what you do with those is you put them all around the edge. This one goes here. Looks like you're planting a beautiful flower garden, Janae yes. and Laura. Yay! Do it over here. And over there. I love that even though our backyard here is about a tenth of the size of the one in Kansas City, the kids are still able to come out and pretend and have fun. So we're attempting to make our family tradition brown sugar cookie recipe. I'm just gonna use gluten-free flour instead of regular flour, and I'm hoping it turns out. Either way, it's got lots of sugar in it. So Why? <laughs> brown sugar is a little different in Puerto Rico. Different texture. Is it a little frozen? Is it frozen? <laughs> Oh, we no. have this problem. I'm missing my KitchenAid mixer at home. I mean at Kansas City. I'm trying to learn to call this home, but it's hard when we're really not settled in here yet. So we've stirred up the butter and the brown sugar, the vanilla and the egg. Now it actually looks, it smells amazing. Yeah. And it looks amazing. It's so hey, cool that we have me. so many helpers. So we're making a super small batch since I don't know if it's gonna turn out or not. This is the gluten-free flour. Cap, can you do it? I'm mm -hmm. not very strong. Cap, hold the bowl for you. Teamwork, I love it. 
Janae do it. it. Yeah. I don't know if Janae's ever made sugar cookies with us. Yeah. Might be her first time. Yeah. So I found a few cookie cutters. We can make a bat, a ghost, or pumpkin. So now we're gonna put this in the refrigerator so it can chill for a little bit. What do we have to put in the refrigerator? So it makes the butter that is in it mm. and everything get colder and harder so it's easier to work with. Oh. Thanks for doing the dishes. Yeah. We're gonna see how this goes. I'll push it down. Beautiful. And then we'll roll out the next batch, okay? I want a tree one. You want a tree one? We are not making Christmas trees today, but we can at we Christmas. We could. Mm -hmm. I need the next turn. You'd like to have the next the turn? It looks like a ham. I mean, mitten. Oddly enough to me, it looks like a kidney right now. Really? It's a kidney. It does look like a two kidneys. What's so, a kidney? The former nurse in you coming out. Yeah. Push, 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 two hands. Two hands, use this end too. Ready, oh, push, push, push. Push, push, push. There we go, should we put them on the cookie sheet? That looks like this cookie. <laughs> well, the sugar cookies came out and we're ready to eat dinner. Wine haystacks. I forgot the celery and the tomatoes, which are really yummy. This will work. Looks good. Well, one of the cookies fell apart, so we have to taste test it. What do you guys think? Good. Wow. This good. This is good. They're a little dry and a little crunchy. I think I overbaked them a little bit. Oh, that's okay. But can you taste the sugar? Yeah. That's the important part. See, look, Janae, they're mixing the colors together. They do use yellow and red. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's my girl. <laughs> 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 Whatever that means. <laughs> I see another red. Red, huh? I want to smell. You want to smell? It's frosting. It smells like sugar. I want to do it myself. <laughs> I think this might be her first time decorating a cookie. Okay, which shape did you choose? What's this? Mine. Can you say ghost? Go. And I want to make it. Yeah, you put the frosting on the cookie, and then these are eyeballs mm -hmm. for your ghost. She's very focused. Spread it out. I gotta spread it out. Yeah, you gotta spread it out. Look at that. So careful. <laughs> <laughs> She's so focused. <laughs> she wants to keep it right there. I guess we're going to say. She figured out a shortcut. She's like, I don't have to decorate a cookie. I can just look this spoon. Where do you want to put the eyes? I just put these on there. I kind of know it. I, I always do this. I always do this. You know what? I think that it needs some frosting up there to put the eyeballs on. My eyes will stick. Yeah. Now the eyes will stick. <laughs> You did it! Here's Janae's ghost! Whoa. You made a ghost. Do you want to eat it? Yeah. Let's put this right here. The ghost has a belly button. But I'm going to make this eyes really dark. You're going to make the eyes really dark? Hmm. Oh, that's a good mouth. Maybe that's a funny mole. <laughs> <laughs> now you take a bite. Or a lick. <laughs> Making the bat's brains spilling out of it. Lori, which one are you gonna eat first? The bat. It's quick. Ooh, Isaac, I like the outline you're doing. Here's three truths. Making sugar cookies always sounds more fun in my head than it actually is in real life. Anytime I cook with all my children, by the end of it, all of my patience is gone. And the gluten-free adjustment is never exactly the same as the original, but it's worth it to us to include Caleb, and it's pretty good. How'd they turn out? Amazing. Ooh, I marked the belly button. 
Get that J house out. It felt like we were being told that we were losing our job. Happy birthday, me. We signed the contract, we paid the money, <laughs> and we actually It was got... a different house. Where do you want us to reroute it? 